Creek Robinson died before he had a chance to serve as a newly elected board member on the Richmond County Board of Education. The sheriff's office ruled his death a suicide after Robinson's business partner went public with allegations he stole from her and before he ever testified in court against her ex-boyfriend over a pending assault charge. The allegations are not the only factors that weighed on him before his death. Our senior investigative reporter Liz Owens exposes the political pressure he was also under. So Tyreek was the youngest member ever elected to the Richmond County Board of Education. He was only 20 years old, so he was inexperienced and perhaps naive to politics in Augusta, Richmond County. Tyreek Robinson wasn't afraid to speak up. Us as a county with eight high schools should be able to have an in-person graduation on a football field. Even as a senior in high school during the pandemic, Board of Education should be discuss you should be discussing this right now in the board meeting. You guys have meetings meetings after meetings and nothing is done. And his name meant a lot to him because he knew he was a voice for a lot of people. You know, young, old, it didn't matter. He wasn't afraid to speak up two years later after winning a seat on the Richmond County Board of Education. So I knew in getting in this race I would have to have some tough skin. And so I won't let anybody back me down or let any accusation or allegation back me down. Um, it's just time for me to stand firm and just show that I am innocent um, in this. Tyreek went on the Austin Road Show the day before he died to defend himself against allegations of theft made by his business partner. Tyreek met Melissa Odin in January of 2022. One of the things that she told me is she said she's going to make me great. And, uh, you know, I took the vision and I, and I thought that was one of the best things I heard being young, uh, but not realizing that came with uh, preposterous control. Melissa Odin had the power to make Tyreek great as a well-connected and successful businesswoman in the Augusta, Richmond County area. Um, there was a meeting between me, her, and um, I won't call it the other individual that wants to see. She basically told him that to not run. Um, because she wanted to give me a chance. The meeting was with former commissioner Ben Hassan. Hassan confirmed to the I team he decided not to run after his friend Melissa Odin asked him to give Tyreek a chance at the seat. Melissa texted him, thank you so much, Ben. Not every text conversation between Tyreek and Melissa was positive. Ty told Melissa about a meeting with Richmond County School Superintendent Dr. Bradshaw. She replied she wanted to talk one-on-one -on -one with Tyreek once she returned from an out-of-town trip. He asks, am I in trouble? She replies, yes. Tyreek met with other Augusta leaders, too, including Garnett Johnson, even introducing the future mayor of Augusta to Melissa. And he later inviting Tyreek to an event where Melissa and his godmother, her friend Melanie, would be in attendance. Tyreek also spent a lot of time with members of the Board of Education, including Super District 9 board member Venus Kane. Tyreek called me and asked me to mentor him. That's what I was doing. Venus knew Tyreek before he decided to run for school board, but the two had a falling out a few weeks before the election. After the election, two days before he died, Tyreek sent Venus this. I got a call. You are putting a rumor out there that Melissa and I are sleeping together. The rumor is not true, and I need you to clear it up. Venus sent back, whatever you need to do to clean up your lies. I told you I'm through with you and all your shenanigans with you and Ben. You played a big boy game and lost. You might want to worry about the stuff folks are putting out about you, stealing money from an old lady. Folks going to the news on you. You are exhausting. I don't know a Melissa. Now anyone connected to you is off limits for me. You said that about you better be worried about, you know, people going to the news on you about stealing. Yes. Yeah. That was that lady. Because remember I told you that Saturday? Okay. Girl, the beautician. Okay. Had called me. The beautician, Tyreek's godmother, introduced him to Melissa. Melanie told Venus the same story Melissa told the I team a few days earlier and that Tyreek defended himself against on the Austin Road Show the day before he died. She's saying that you used company credit cards to pay for your uh, billboards. Um, she gave me money um, for my um, for my campaign. Um, I never once. Um, misuse her credit card or the company credit card. Tyreek publicly thanked his godmother for the billboard, Melissa's friend, 
two months before the allegations. Did you go to any news outlets on him about uh, the no. allegations about him stealing money and not living in the district? No. No, I didn't know anything about it because I had stopped talking to Tyreek by then. And I'm going to be honest, the biggest thing that pissed me off, Tyreek sent me a text, you should see it, where he asked me to go to the Champions Retreat and have dinner with him. Tyreek invited Venus to dinner in mid-October, a month before the election and a month after Pete Fletcher, the longtime attorney for the Richmond County Board of Education, passed away. He calls me. I said, what's this about? He says, my aunt wants me to get you and Randy Friels together. I said, oh, no, 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 no. I said, I'm not doing that, Tyreek. I said, you know that. I said, I'm not doing that. I said, I'm not getting caught out in public having lunch with you or dinner with you and Randy Frail. So when we go to look for an attorney, if Randy Frail get it, people start saying I did something illegal. That's when I found out, which I did not know, Randy Frails was Tyreek's attorney. So those are the type of shenanigans I was talking about. Randy Frails is also Melissa Odin's attorney and currently representing her in a case she filed against Tyreek's estate after he died. Frails also represents the agency that investigated Tyreek's death and ruled it a suicide. And before becoming counsel for the Richmond County Sheriff's Office, he donated heavily to Richard Roundtree's campaign for sheriff. He was trying to brag, drag me into whatever he was doing, but I didn't know what he was doing on the other side, Liz. You don't know still? I still don't know, Liz. So when Tyreek turned on me and said, I'm supporting these people, that's another shenanigan I was talking about. Because a week ago, you was all Team Venus. Whatever shenanigans were going on behind the scenes scared Tyreek to the point he told his family he feared for his son and mother's life. A month later, it was his life that was lost. Melissa Oden never went to law enforcement for the allegation she made against Tyreek, the theft ones, but she did file a claim against his estate in probate after he died. In the meantime, charges are still pending in North Carolina against her for attempting to bribe Tyreek into dropping an assault case against her ex-boyfriend and later changing her story after Tyreek died.